everyone. Welcome to Lodestar's Lending Leaders Summer Edition. Um, here with Elena Gardner, Hi. our co-host. I think we can say co-host is yeah. probably the best way to say it. Co-host of the podcast. Um, partner in crime, I guess, for the summer edition. We did yes. this last year. Um, at the very least, we had fun doing it, so we're doing it exactly. again this year. We've upgraded our in-office studio here at the Lodestar headquarters to be very festive, um, just like we see here in tropical Philadelphia, palm trees yes. everywhere. So There's I just wanted the inside of this office to match the outside of what we see here in Philly. So, Elena, welcome. Thank um, you. How do you feel about the summer? The summer, what are you looking forward to? In general. Um, yeah, yeah, I think the thing I'm looking forward to most is for it to not be cold anymore, mm -hmm. which is great yeah. because, you know, we had 90 degrees this past weekend and mm -hmm. now it's 60 again. So fingers crossed it'll, mm -hmm. you know, we'll actually get to feel like these palm yeah. trees should be here um, in Philly. Um, but yeah, I think other than that, just kind of reading a lot this summer mm -hmm. and really focusing on my mental health and mm -hmm. also, you know, a bunch of projects that we're working on behind the scenes to launch uh, the fall, which is super exciting. It's mm -hmm. always fun because we get to work on the business, I think, the most yeah. during the summer months because we're a little bit less busy than the rest of the year, mm -hmm. at least from a, a sales side. Right, where you're kind of crawling out of conference season now. Yeah. Um, and now it's like a slow sales season in a yes. way of, you know, being able to work on those things, get ready. I feel like it, starting around this time of year, it's always, okay, this is a post-Labor Day thing, this is a yeah. post-Labor Day thing, um, and then do whatever we can kind of over the summer to get ready. Exactly. Which is interesting, and I think there's kind of a juxtaposition with how this is, should be, in theory, the busy time for the industry right now, yeah. home buying season. Um, you know, spring and summer is a very popular home buying time. Um, not sure if we're necessarily seeing that at yeah. the moment or not. Um, but I think it's going to be interesting to see what the overall state of the industry and what do you feel like you're hearing so far from folks that we talk to? Um, I think a lot of people are really focusing on their tech stack right now is yeah. really the biggest things I've been hearing both at conferences and in in-person meetings with mm -hmm. lenders is they finally feel like they have a chance to breathe after the last two years mm -hmm. and they're pulling back and starting to look at their budgets and look at different things and say, how can we do this more efficiently? Yeah. Um, I mean, that's something we're focusing on as well here at Lodestar is just automation. And, and we talked about that a little bit last week in our episode finale. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, I think, the biggest thing that we're starting to see is one, just cost awareness, yeah. right? I think is one something that everyone's really mm -hmm. mindful of right now. Um, but also, you know, everything is just exciting and also terrifying at the same time is I think how everyone's feeling. As a new parent, I completely understand that. <laughs> exciting and terrifying at exciting the same time. Exciting and terrifying. It sounds, it sounds uh, about right. But what do we always say? If you're not scared, you're not, uh, yeah, you're not trying hard enough. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, what are you looking forward to the most this summer? Uh, some travel. I yeah. think we'll be good. Um, excited for that. Excited to see you around the office, people around the office yeah. now that conference season's over. And like, and the same way that we're kind of working on the business mm -hmm. in a way um, we haven't quite been able to over the last few months, both with me being out, both with conferences and things like that, you know, kind of practicing what we preach of how can we do this better? How can we keep our operating costs and, and automate stuff and, and kind of continue to grow? So I think last summer we were so head down with a rebrand and mm -hmm. um, figuring out the podcast and a lot of other things. It's like the projects now seem more fun. Yeah. So it's more exciting to do kind of those those types of things going forward. And to your point earlier, you, you go through a period of time like the last two years and lenders get to just see what breaks because you get so yeah. busy and you have to figure out so many things and have so many like you know, duct tape type solutions. Mm -hmm. And now you can go back and replace all of that. So we're doing that with that with our business in the same way um, a lot of our clients and a lot of our new clients are. Yeah. are doing that as well. Is is mm -hmm. Anne going to learn how to swim this summer? Or <sighs> at least, are you going to throw her in a pool? I've seen a lot of vid videos of parents throwing toddlers in the pools. It's really terrifying. Yeah, I don't... Again, it's an important part of water safety, but scary. Um, I think she will enter into a pool at some point. We will Perfect. have to see. Um, I was thinking of that today. She's going to go for her first boat ride at some point, so that'll Ooh. be exciting. Um, and yeah, I think we will, we will take it from there. Um, I don't know if she'll go in the ocean because the ocean's definitely scarier. Or we the might, ocean's scary. Or you might do the thing at the beach where you just like dig a hole that fills up with water a little bit and you just kind of like splash around. So uh, that my, might be the goal. My top summer TikTok trick is you're supposed to take a shower curtain liner mm -hmm. and fill the, put that in the hole of the sand. Yeah. And that way when the water comes in, it actually captures it as opposed to you having to like, it's soaking all into the sand. Hmm. 
Apparently. That's I saw it's, it on TikTok. To do like the TikTok pool pictures. The TikTok pool mm. pictures. You like line it so your baby can have water. Ah. I yeah. thought oh I thought this was for like a like thirst trap photo. No, 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 okay. no. It's just it's oh, an for infant. The baby. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's for your toddler to like Great. be able to have a pool of water that is not See, see, that sounds counterintuitive. Like, please have as much plastic sheeting as possible around your toddler. Yeah, it doesn't seem yeah. doesn't seem great, but mm. I did see it and it seemed to work. Okay. So uh, yeah. that's my TikTok tip. Fair enough. Well, <laughs> we did last summer talk about some vaguely real estate related topics from Airbnb to mm-hmm. um, why people like to go on Zillow. Yes. Um, and just like look at houses they can't afford or make fun, fun of houses or, or things like that. So. Um, you know, always here looking for more real estate adjacent yeah. topics uh, in the future. Um, hopefully we won't talk about too many millennial things that we'll try to explain to everyone, but we just might too. So We do have a Gen yeah. Z correspondent this summer that we're really excited to bring on. Our, yeah. One of our uh, summer interns yeah. happens to be part of that generation and we're really yeah. excited. I don't think um, she is yet. but She's she not quite been. ready yeah. yet, but yeah. we'll get to show her yeah. a little bit later on and ask her how she's been enjoying her time at Lodestar. Yeah. Uh, this is her first week, so we won't do that to her quite yet. <laughs> yeah. um, but also, we're going to get to dive into Jim's own home buying experience. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're really excited about yeah. that. You know, how does it feel to almost own a home at this point? Yeah, nerve-wracking. Awesome. Yeah. So. Um, so we're going to dive into that, mm-hmm. how you shopped for your mortgage and all that stuff mm-hmm. as a mortgage professional that knows so much about the industry. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be a, a summer, a mini series this summer that we're really excited about as it's well. Definitely a very enlightening process seeing it from the other side. And, and a lot of things that I thought got very um, hit home yeah. too. So it was, I'm excited to dive into it over a few episodes. Awesome. We won't tease it any more than that. <laughs> well, thank yeah. you guys uh, so much for watching. And if you have any ideas for any of our summer episodes, or even yeah. if you'd like to be a guest for season three, um, we are doing some summer recording for the next yeah. season. Um, so we'd love to have any of our clients or partners mm-hmm. on. So please reach out to us um, and we'd love to connect with you. Great. Thanks, Elena. And thanks, everyone. Um, talk to you next week. Uh-huh.